Hello, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about high vision camera and some errors related to the network. As you can see, I have my camera running via web browser, also here on a tablet and on a mobile phone. Okay. Using Hike Connect to run the camera here on the cell phone. Also Hike Connect here and on the browser here in the computer, right? So as you can see, I have already a message here, failed to play video. That happens sometimes. And also I can see from time to time problems with the network and a message that says the network is unstable. Sometimes a message is network is unstable and sometimes fail to play video, okay? Let me just come back here to the tablet and try to run it again. As you can see, it's trying to load and it's freezing a lot. As you can see the car here, it's the same image here. It's flowing better. Okay, and here on the phone, it's also flowing good. But uh, this is related to the network usually. So let's take a look here at the bandwidth that I have. If I come here to my computer and run a test to test the network speed, I'm basically testing the network connection, right? Uh, to the internet. So see uh, the download speed, it's pretty bad, right? I'm testing with a link that I have here. I have different links just to test. This is a bad one. So as you can see, it's less than one megabits per second. And now it's testing the upload. It's two something right now, but still not that much. So definitely the network is not good enough. Less than one megabits per second. That's the reason we are having some so many problems here, right? So you need to start disconnecting devices here to get a better quality. As you can see, the tablet is suffering a lot because it doesn't have the option to change the resolution. What I can do here, for example, with the Hike Vision Hike Connect on the cell phone is using this new version of the Hike Connect, change here for, from standard definition to high definition to basic definition, right? If I try to use high definition here, for example, there we go, it's going to use a lot of bandwidth and I will also have problems here trying to play it. Okay, so you need to understand the differences between using high resolution when you don't have bandwidth, higher versus a lower resolution. As you can see here, it's not working anymore. It's freezing a lot, it's freezing a lot here. And the better one is here on the web browser, but still it's not that good, okay? So let me fix the problem by just giving the devices more bandwidth, right? Let me just change the cable that I have there on my switch and replace with the one that I have more bandwidth available. Okay, so I just replaced the cable there. So I have the internet connection uh, better now, working directly with a new link. Let me just come here and measure the speed again. And now, as you can see, much, much better. The difference is huge here comparing to the previous one. And that will make a big difference here on my system. Okay. Starting with the web browser that I'm locally connected to the camera here on the switch. Okay. So I have more than 300 megabits per second downloads and 14 with uploads. Okay. Let me just come back here to the camera. So you see how it's flowing much, much better. Even with high resolution, I'm using here a eight megapixel camera or 4K camera, right? Here, the fail to play video. Let me just come back and play it again. See, much, much better now. It's flowing good. And also here, even with a high definition, I have enough bandwidth to run here on the cell phone. So I don't need to use like another resolutions here. It's still good to use like a standard or basic because I don't need high resolution here because I have a small screen, right? Here as well, the screen is not that big. So I can use intermediate resolution here and higher resolution here if I wanna see a better picture, right? Or to record into the any that I have here. 
So you need to understand that sometimes you just need to play with the resolution. Less resolution here because I don't have big screen. Intermediate here and higher here if you want to see higher resolution here. The important part is to record with high resolution. So you can record on your NVR with high resolution and show with less resolution everywhere. Okay, to have your system flowing better. Okay, and all ends up with the uh, how much bandwidth, bandwidth you have available and the quality they're using here on your camera. Okay, I hope you understand this better so you can solve the problem with the bandwidth, with the network unstable, and things like that. Okay, that's all for today. Please subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. And I'll see you in the next one.